In this tutorial, I intend to show exactly how the ace artillery can be aimed without the use of the artillery computer. You doing this is dependent on two items. One is the ace map tools and the other is the range tables for the gun. First, let's take a look at our target. Right there. The set U23 stat static AAA, which would uh, pretty much ambush any helicopter that came up this valley. And it's our target. Its position is about all right here, and that is basically what the spotter is going to call in. Now I'm located here, so I use the map tools to. Uh, draw a line from my position to the target there we go and then I bring up the map tools compass line it in the right direction and then it seems to be at the direction of uh, 6090 mils now it's not quite that simple because uh, this gun is lined to the west now because the west is uh, I think it was uh, 1600 Just verifying, yeah, six sixteen hundred mils off. We have to subtract that off the sixteen ninety value. The result then is that we need a deflection value of. In order to get the uh, elevation the gun needs to be set at, we need to know the range. The easiest way to get, get the range is simply to align the gun with the 1500 meters mark and set a mark up here, 1.5 kilometers, move it up. Six kilometers. Now this is a somewhat time consuming method of doing it. And it can be done ahead of time and then doing an adjust of that uh, previous one. Let's see, this was seven point five. I'll do an extra one here for 8 and target 
it is eight hundred and Four hundred and let's say, well, let's say fifty. It's close enough. As a result, I now have the direction, and I have the distance. A further uh, detail that is important is the elevation component of the distance. That is. Um, this target is about, let's see, 21 18, I think. The contour interval is stated here. Each line in the up direction is 2 meters because the contour interval is 2 meters. And let's say my position is at well, I have the readout here since I'm at the battery. It is uh, 24, 75. So we're. Oops. We are uh, 356 meters apart. 350 is going to be good enough, I guess. And this is where the range tables came in, come in. Let's see, I want a high explosive charge. Let's see, five charges. Uh, no, not enough. Six charges. Yeah, six charges are going to get me there. So, well, right now I have a small problem with uh, the target being right in between those. I'll take the average right now, although that's not the correct solution by any means. So that means I take the average of those two. And get 867. And then there's the elevation difference. There's 350 meters of change, so it's 350 meters below me, so I have to add 3.5 times, and once again I'm going to take an average between these two. Let's see, 13 and a half. Okay, 914. 0.25, but uh, still. In the next, uh, once I've, in the next uh, video, I'm going to have aligned the gun, and we'll see just how the shot fares and how to adjust the round from there.